Alright. So that does four. Whoa, that one charged really fast. That's that strawberry just dips. Okay, so that's four four, six, eight. That is nine. That is twelve. Gaga does eleven and hits multiple times. And if you catch it, you can do it again. Now I'm gonna try to catch it and throw it down, see if it's anything different. Oh. So that's what it does, you can throw it down. this oh so it pretty much goes in it goes in that arc no matter what you reckon you do it all right and you have the, the bell which has the hit stun depending on your percent is how much they get stunned And yes, you can stun them multiple times. It doesn't stun if you Z-drop, though. So if you G-drop this, it's just... A damage. And why did you throw it like that, Pac-Man? Anyway. As for the key... Just one strong hit. That's 15. Now to go into the custom moves. Uh... Galaga, it goes the same direction each time, but if you throw it to the right, it will do a loop towards the right. If you throw it up, it will loop towards going up, and it, you know, same for the other directions. Yep. So, this got that wonderful echo again. Man. Alright, so now this is his custom moves after I went over the the default items so you can see the difference. I see this one. This one does well, it does that. <laughs> also one hit it pulls them in. Same thing for the strawberry. It also has a weird bouncing effect. Yeah, most of his customs have uh really strange trajectories on the neutral bay. That one's just pretty much a fastball. That's the apple. Let me see. If you release the apple in the air, it does that. Yep. So edge guarding for that. And that's for the melon. Has that weird lob. One bounce and it goes away. Oh yeah, if you're too close, it does not hit. <laughs> uh, I should put it at 50 so you have an idea of like the trajectory on this. So yeah, pretty decent knockback on that. And this one you can catch easily. And sometimes it goes up, which, from what I've tested so far, it seems like it goes up if it hits something. But if it doesn't hit anything, it just goes a regular route. I've never seen it go up, like, by itself. So it's very weird. So. See, that time it went up. Sadly, you can't catch it more than once, so you yeah. can't, like, boomerang it. Nah. You can Z-drop it a bunch of times. But it's hard to catch that one. Yeah, that killed. 
So you could do this. And you hear that sound every single time. Okay, so in the last one, well, no, sorry, it's the, the bell. This one hits them and carries them up. That can't hit multiple times. Just a weird way to do it. Percentage and all that stuff kind of matters. There we go. It doesn't have, it loses the stun effect, but it just lifts them up. And the key. This spikes. Now, this one is not really a projectile. It's just like a hitbox. Because look at this. It's just one sh that little hit there. You can't pick it up or anything. Maybe you can. I don't know. You have to test that with another person. But they will have to grab it like right as it drops out the hand. So I'm not sure if you can actually pick that bump back up. Hit meteors hard too, if I recall. Yeah, just hard to land it. I think that's Pac-Man's only spike, isn't it? There you go. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I think it might. It might be. I isn't the. the I'm down. not sure if the the hydrant does or not, but. Uh, no, nah, does that? Nah, his his down air definitely doesn't. His down air snakes down air. The stairmaster. Yeah, it also spikes at some point. Wait, no, wait. I can't even remember. It does, but it's a weird hitbox. I thought. Anyway, um, side B. This one is the one you have a lot more ability for it. If you want to do loops, you could do that. If you hit the ground as you as you saw there, you will pretty much go in. Kind of like Ness if he hits himself. That's true though, that animation that you just had. If it's power shielded, he'll, he'll, no matter which one you have, it'll still do that. Because I remember um, when Max was playing and he had his uh, side B power shielded. He went into uh, into that animation. Yeah, I just noticed. I think Mario just ate the power pellet. I was about to say that too. If if your path is interrupted, like you saw there, or you get power shielded, the pa the pellet drops and it's a food item. It will restore health to whoever picks it up. But yeah, like I don't see that on any of the streams at all. Is uh, I guess just because people don't realize that if you power shield his forward B, you can punish him. And what was that? Two percent. Yeah, it's like a food item, it's like two. Yeah, it's two. Okay. Alright, uh, so we have down B, the literal fire hydrant. Unlike the water hydrant, this one shoots out three times. The regular one that shoots water only shoots twice. If you stand on this, you may end up burning yourself, because that will happen. And you can still... The thing is, the training mode, you can't really show how much health it has because moves are slightly weaker. So there you go. That's where I'd be. Pretty much just go straight up and you hit a bunch of times. Like it's really high up, but there's your horizontal recovery there. I don't think this was there anything else with this move? I don't think there is. Is the trampoline still there? No. Trampoline just dips immediately. Mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, it's uh... See, that one actually made the computer lift because it turned yellow. That's probably also signifying that you can hit a bunch of the hits. I don't think you can... Yeah, you can move out the way. I mean, the default upbeat is good enough. It covers a lot of range. I don't know how I, I, I feel okay. about that one. Okay. Yeah, this oh, one... Also, did you test if the new... Uh, this current side B kills? Because the old one does. It's too weak. No. Yeah, this one is just for mobility. Uh, the advantage of this one is... People can't steal your trampoline. Because there's no trampoline to steal. And it hits a lot. So once people start to figure out how to properly edge guard him by taking his jumps off the trampoline that people probably will resort to using that one instead. Because the way you'd get rid of his default is he would jump and then once he jumps the second time 
You have to jump on it, and then it'll steal it. Time for a neutral, was it custom neutral B number three, which is like probably top five favorite customs moves in the game for me. More weird projectiles. Nah, I feel like that defines him. Like, Okay, so we bounce. So you can't pick it up again. Yeah, you can't be too close when you do this. So, that doesn't look anything weird. This is all have weird effects. Nah, so. they're just really slow. All, all of them are very, very slow. That one is funny. This that one's, one's actually really good for, like, edge guarding. Yeah, because you could just do this. And just, it just sit there. It just sits there, yeah. Or if you do this. And you trump them, whatever. Oh yeah, what happens if you uh, Z drop this? Oh, nothing special. Okay. Okay, so what's next? Apple. Pretty much, you throw it as he's bouncing, and I just realized that's bouncing higher and higher each time. Or not. Maybe it's when you throw it. Let me see here. Okay. So it depends on how high you throw it. Okay. Maybe only when you throw it straight down? Yeah, if you throw it up or down, that happens. But only as an item, not as a regular toss. Now keep in mind, guys, when you jump with the, uh, with Neutral B, he kind of floats. So you can kind of, like, propel yourself in the air a bit. So it's good for, uh... Trying to stall enough to get a, the right item that you want. This is the- this one is the monstrous one. Yeah. This is the one- this is the one you're gonna want to always go for, but do the melon first. I think this one just, like, bounces once. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one's going higher. I think it's with this one. You just stand there, wait a bit. And you can keep Z-dropping this. And people have to guess what you're going to do with it, because you can just do that again. And this is multiple times, and it and on shield, I think it stays on shield, right? Yes, it does. You can break shields very easily with that. Jump in with it, throw it, and they kind of have to get out of the area. Because if it hits, you get a free down air to, like, to double jump forward air. And I caught it. Yep, and you can catch it. And Only one stuff. Yeah, you can catch it and then Z drop it. Like that's the thing. You can pressure the shield with it, and then just short hop grab it and then Z drop it immediately to keep pressuring the shield. And yeah. they, you just you have like you just have so much control of yeah. like the immediate space in on a jump in. Yeah. Like they have they have to respect that. Yeah. You can even get a forward smash off of it. So it, if it lands, you can kill with it. Or anything because Galaga and up all the items if it hits something it doesn't go away they stay out yep so when you use them as a Z dropping item it becomes really dangerous because you keep doing that over and over as long as you well I accidentally threw it This one doesn't have much damage as a Z drop though. It's only three. Still pressure tool. It doesn't, doesn't matter though. <laughs> like I've gotten up to sixty percent damage from zero. So you could do this and yeah, and like yeah, and then short hop down air into him. Yeah, or actually, or, I say full hop down air into him. Or if you put that over there and then you trump someone off the ledge, it'll knock him right into that. Then you can just finish it with back air. You could just do this and back air. Okay, so Bell's next. Bell just goes straight up, yeah. Yeah. And it comes back down. I believe it still stuns, though, right? Yeah. Still stuns. It doesn't stun when you Z-drop, but it is 
which is a lot. Which most of the Z I most of the Z drop uh, versions of them do. I forget it, it can fall on people too. Like the when you see how it comes down. Yeah, because it can hit it can hit one at once. And then you got the key. This hits multiple times. Yeah. You can do this, and then once again you could throw it, try to Z drop it. Let's see. Maybe it's just because of frame drops, but uh, look, I'm pretty sure it spins, doesn't it? Yeah, it spins. It okay, just yeah. it just looks like a very terrible spin. <laughs> yeah. Because it's so saying, like, because I'm watching it through a screen share, which is uh, has less frames on it. It's only like 15 frames. So, like, I'm obviously missing animation frames. That's why it looks strange to me. On wow. stream, it probably looks fine. Wow, I did foot still neutral there. Okay. Good to know that works. Uh, John, uh, full hop, air, air dodge into Nair is an approach that's invincible. Well. Nope, that hits. <laughs> okay. Yep. And nobody uses that tech either. That's a free jump in. That's completely safe. If, well, if they see it, they can still punish it. I mean, yeah, if you react to it, but... Point is, he has options out of out of his air dodge that are very, very fast. Oh. Yeah, it's actually it's actually sh shorter than it looks. Yep. I'm... Yeah. Okay. So, next is side B. This one is a very strong move. Not as much distance, though. It's a win box that pulls people in. Though. Yeah, the pellet has a win box. Now, does it drop if he gets hit? Yes, it does. Still drops. Yeah. All the side B is like that. That's what I'm saying. There's things that um, I see people playing Pac-Man on streams that they just they're not they're not doing they're not seeing. Oh, or rather, what they'll do is they'll purposely uh, try to trade with a fireball or something, and then let it drop so they get some health back. That seems like if you purposely just do that, because it doesn't have to hit you. It just hits as long as it hits the. The pellet. Yeah, it's a collide with a hitbox. So yeah, uh, yeah, this is really strong. Uh, as we're going up with it, or look, he stays in the air too, well, much longer. Yeah, he does. The other ones doesn't uh, hover in the air like that. Not for that long. He has ample time to do whatever. Yeah, I, I, I know people are saying a lot of people can air dodge to attack, but like his comes out so fast. Like it's almost like one frame. Rip. <laughs> okay, so be what careful. What happened there? Hit the wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. See that animation when you hit the wall? If somebody power shields, that's the animation. Ah, uh, okay. So like people are like, I see like PB and J and stuff like doing that to people to like as like an approach to pressure people and like people haven't realized yet if you just shield it on reaction you get a punish it's not that safe of a move you mean power shield yeah power shield if you power shield it. okay it's not as like as safe as people are using because like people are using it as like a cross off so yeah, yeah. Like, that, that doesn't that should not work like that's like week one stuff and like give it a couple months and people will be on to that and you won't be able to do it anymore Okay, so what's the deal with this up B? What the hell? What? Why? Why is why does it do that? That's really odd. Does it have um it has a hitbox as a normal? So right? if you do this and then someone walks into it, it's a meteor. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so weird. That is so awkward. Walk into it. It's the meteor. Oh, and it spikes. D. <laughs> and get out of here. Anyway. Oh wow, it's slapping him. Oh, that's uh, that's why it's a meteor. Cause the person who jumps on the last will get bodied. Body wants to join. All right. Is it because I, I was talking? Is this because I was talking about him? <laughs> he was like, "I heard my name, man. Add me to the call, man." This guy. <laughs> okay. 
Evan, are you here? I think I'm here, man. You're here. All right. Well, um, Ninja Link has a share screen, so we could see the stream while he talks about custom moves. Well, I'm watching the stream, man. You don't have to do that. Man. No, it's, no, it's already there. Uh, yeah, the stream is behind, man. You gonna watch this live? Oh, yeah. live! Oh, Pac-Man. Okay. Yeah. So, relax. Yeah. So, uh, this is the this is the exploding hydrant I kept talking about, and I finally got it. Okay. Wait, you talking about the bomb one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the last one, dude. Yeah, that one's really good too. I mean, I'm gonna use that. The other one sucked. The fire one. The fire one was so useless. I don't know. It seems like it does more damage when you hit people with it. Yeah, I know, but you could do like what I did with the hydrant with the water is like do four smash you, and slide off. No, no, no. If you can surf the, if you know how to surf the water behind, you just grab the other way and it grabs your opponent if they're in shield. Or you can attack your opponent the other way. So like, you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Like, save the in between. You'll be the hydrant. The the opponent will be in be. The hydrant will be no. Your opponent will be in between you and the hydrant. If you do it right, you just surf on it and then grab the other way. So it's a mix up. You just gotta know how to use the water. Okay. And do you know about the like punishing Jigglypuff with the hydrant? If she missed the rest and anybody with free for all animation. Oh, you just throw it down and it pushes them. Yeah, they, yeah, they they, they die. So <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I remember that. Is that down B grounded? Yeah, so like, yeah, it's the ground yeah. with the water. So basically, it, I did it to Pikachu too. Um, and Charizard. I mean, I did, and Link's up B. Or whatever. Yes, to the stream, that is PB and Jagger. Uh, what yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, now I'm seeing it. Like, yeah, it doesn't kill. So How, how much damage does this do? I don't, Nine. I don't think I would use Nine. Like, yeah. this is cool and all that it's a damage move, but I don't think I would sacrifice. Uh, yeah, the, the other one. Can you do it off the stage? I want to see you use it. I use sometimes Hydra as an edge guard to keep, keep him off in the back here. Like, hit him. Wait like, a minute. Can you jump? Is this an extra jump? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wanted to see what it does. Uh, let's see here. Hydra is a little. Uh, nah. No. <laughs> nah. I don't. Look at the fact that this doesn't really kill until like 180. <laughs> And the other ones, it would definitely kill a lot earlier, especially the fire one. The fire one, I kicked it and it killed him like at 130. Like my rule of thumb is, if it can't really kill before 130, I'm not really, you know, banking on it to kill. Yeah, and there's no other extra thing. I was expecting this to be a lot better. I thought this would be like a, a mini smart bomb or something, but it's not. <laughs> it's just this little explosion, which it seems like it doesn't even hit like. That up B is really interesting though. I, I think I might want to use that over the default one. Just Wait, which one? The, the one he's currently one? using. Which one are you using? It's the Pitfall. It's like know. the original one with the third bounce on the trampoline. If somebody walks into it or jumps on it, including yourself, you get meteored. Let me see. Do it. Whoa. Oh, crap. Hold on. I'm behind. I, I forgot I was watching the stream. Do it. Do it again. I'm sorry. Do it again. Okay. There you go. Okay, bro. Actually, let me make him stand still. So you got to... Once it's red and he walks into it. Can you do it off the stage when it looks like to recover? Uh, yeah, you could actually do that off stage. It's, see, when they ground it, it does that. But if you do this. Yeah, I want to see that. If you do that, if someone touches it, they get spiked. Yeah, they get spiked. Hey, uh, see? so does it <laughs> be the same distance as the other one? Uh, not exactly. Like it, 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 yeah, it doesn't go any it, higher. You don't get you don't get higher off each bounce. The initial bounce is the highest you're gonna get. Well, so, I still would like to use this one too. I mean, yeah. as a custom. Yeah, if you do something like that, just, just, just walk onto it. Just show him. Just show him. <laughs> just, just just let it bounce, just so you can see. Juan. And how many times is it? To, how many times did it take you to unlock this? I didn't even unlock this. Like. Uh, I just unlocked this last night. What classic mode? Or what? Yeah. yeah. Use the use the lock yeah. arch, right? And I guess that's Pac-Man for now. I think we just showed everything. Well, uh, yeah. you know about all his projectiles and stuff, right? Yeah, we just, yeah, that was the last move. We did all the other ones. Uh, yeah. The new, neutral B number three for Pac-Man is like still, in my opinion, one of the best moves in the entire. Which game. ones? The, you talking about the the slow projectiles? Yeah, the one that the one that stuns them. Not even that. It's um, it's the Galaga ship on the third custom. It does. Uh -oh. it, it, it just spins in a circle, like in place, over and over again. So like, if you jump in with it and you know, throw it. If they, sh you know, if they spot dodge, they're gonna get hit by. It. If they yeah. shield it, you can shield pressure and break the shield, and then just short hop and grab it out of midair and do it again. Yeah, you can grab and say to grab. Yeah, yeah and if it if it hits, you get a full hop down air. Yeah, I love the Galaga ship, dude. It's, it, um, it's such yeah. a ridiculous item. But did you see? Yeah, did you see Abadongo's Pac-Man? 
Japan. Oh, mm -hmm. Abadango, yeah. But that's why I went. That's why I wouldn't sacrifice the the, the standard hydrant because you don't get the. Uh, the, 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 and the, yeah, no, you get the walk off fair with the uh the fire one also. It's just that training mode it doesn't let you do it because of the damage. Yeah, it's weaker. I mean, it, it's still not as good as the 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 default. The default yeah, it, 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 the yeah. default is such a versatile move. Yeah. Oh, and then the other thing I was saying because now that PB and J is here, um, if you don't already know the Ford B, his dash, if you power shield it, if like your opponent power shields it, you'll bounce off, and it's unsafe. Wait, what do you mean? I don't. Well, I mean, I, I haven't been just doing straight four B. No, but I'm saying like the four B, the animation, the chomping, while he's like chasing the line and chomping. If, the, if that gets power shielded during the animation, he will bounce off of of the shield, and the pellet will just drop in front of your opponent, and they get free health. Yeah, but I don't just go straight anymore. I go up. So even if they do that, I set up for, for, for position. I don't go. I kind of angle it. If I can be above it. I have a little tricks with it. But I know what you mean. Yeah, because yeah. like I'm, I'm seeing people like even in the Japanese stream, I saw um, Pac-Man's just doing forward B, and I'm like, do people not realize if you power shield this like yeah. at all? Yeah, from this any other direction, it will cause a bounce as if he hit a wall. Like show them the, the wall animation when you bounce off. That's what happens. That. Somebody back. Yeah. That's what happens if you if somebody. Yeah, shield. I know what it, yeah, I know what it's like. Yeah. 